Okay, so here's our acquisition software screen. What we're going to do now is we're going to step you through how to scan using the 3500. So firstly, choose what you want your scan for. Is it orthodontics, is it restorative, or is it implant? So click the relevant button. Okay, step two is, are you starting to scan with the upper jaw or the lower jaw? It makes no difference to our system where you start. Okay, so you can see here I've selected upper and now I've selected lower jaw. So our system is set to capture automatically images. And also the key trick or tip, if you like, for scanning with this system is to rest this one tip on the occlusal surface of your teeth. So I'm going to start on the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth and I'm going to hold this scanner in position. There we go, there's my first picture. Now I'm going to slowly move along the arch and stop. Move along the arch and stop. You can hear the system clicking, beeping every time it's taking a picture. Now, as you can see, I've scanned the occlusal surface. I'm now going to turn that image slightly to have a look down the buckle aspect. And I'm going to go in. Now, buckle scanning and lingual scanning, just move the tip about 45 degrees so that you're aiming in at this surface. Okay, as you can see here, there's the occlusal surface, I'll twist. I'm looking in the left-hand screen, and you can see in the right-hand screen where it's adding material. Okay. Now, there's a green little tooth button flashing up there. What that tells me is that all these pictures have been successfully stitched. Okay. I'm now going to do something wrong, so show you what it does if I scan another area of the mouth it's gone red. That tells me that I've gone too far around here, I've tried to take a picture of the opposing arch or the other side of the arch and it cannot stitch to this image. So you've got to bear in mind that you're moving around in little steps and stages. Okay, let's capture lingual now and then for the purposes of this tutorial we will then move to the upper arch. And it's entirely up to the clinician to decide what gaps to leave and what gaps to let our software fill in. Okay, so let's just have a look here. Good, good to go. Right, with our button, we'll swap to the upper arch. Now, you can just remove the tip and turn it round and away you go for the upper. So I'm now holding it on the occlusal surface. I'm now starting to take my images. And then after this occlusal scan, I will move down the buckle side and you can see the buckle image is starting to be filled in. We can also, you can also adjust the settings, the speed of acquisition of this scanner. That's a personal preference. Um, entirely up to you how fast you want the system to be. Now I'm going to go palatally. Okay, let's take a few pictures there. And again, entirely up to the clinician, whether you need full arch or not for your case. So, let's say we're happy with this. Now we go for the occlusion. Okay, I've turned the tip around. Now the occlusion, get your patient to bite into centric occlusion. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture some pictures from the buckle corridor. And it's gonna pull this into occlusion. So what it's told me here is I've, it's located the lower, it wants another picture from me, and it's telling me where it wants the next picture. It wants the next picture in the premolar region of the upper while your patient is still in centric occlusion. There we go, and there's your occlusion. Now, I want to point out one other thing before we stop this section of the tutorial, which is the 2D camera feature. So press that little camera icon. You now have a manually focused and a manually operated 2D impression scanner. So I'll go over this tooth now, I'll squeeze the trigger and I'll take a picture. So you've got several photos now that will go off to your laboratory with your digital impressions. So that ends this section of the tutorial.